From Agco's plant in Heston, Kansas, with 35 years of unrivaled large square baler experience, Challenger Large Square Balers. Using the latest CGI technology, we can explore the machine in incredible detail. The windrowed crop is gathered up by the high capacity pickup, with the roller wind guard helping to smooth out any uneven lumps in the swath. Crop enters the cutter unit and is sliced into consistent lengths as it feeds over a set of stationary sprung knives. Once the pre-compression chamber is full, the door trips. This engages the stuffer fork and with a single stroke, the bale flake is moved up and into the bale chamber. As the bale forms, the force required to push the crop rearwards is measured by dual load cells located inside the plunger load arms. If an uneven loading is registered, a driving arrow appears on the monitor. The pressure in the density cylinders is automatically adjusted to provide more or less tension on the bale. When the required bale length is reached, a trip arm engages the double knotter tying system. The knotter symbol appears on the monitor. The first knot ties off the finished bale and the second knot starts the next bale. The knotter lubrication icon appears on the monitor when the pump is active. Air is drawn in by the knotter fan and blows chaff and other debris out of the knotter stack to keep this area clean. When the bale has cleared the chamber, load cells are used to measure the weight of the bale. The bale rolls down the chute, triggering the bale drop sensor. The 34B XD Superior Baling from Challenger.